is Bryce here. Work for Northeast Iowa Pumping here out of Northeast Iowa. Just want to talk about this uh, PTG air system here. It's a hell of a system. Really benefits me in the field. Floats on the ground like no other. And it's butter smooth on the field. And you know, going up and down the road, same thing because don't have the tire bounce. This system here runs off the power beyond on the tractor, and it runs an air compressor on the on the tank. And then so it deflates tires in the field, and then I can inflate them for back for road use again. Road pressure, I'm running about 58 loaded, and then in the field, I'm running 18 pounds of pressure in the back of the tractor, and then 30 in the tank. Go on about these tires here, I guess we've been having a lot of tires of overinflation because throughout the day they, they inflate because they get hot, and I don't have that because they're at a set pressure all the time. So, you know, we've already seen what that other newer tank we got, the tires are starting to get bubbles on them and side stuff like that but so they start forming bubbles on the sidewall because they're they're over inflating and you know like I said I'm not getting that because well my tires are at 58 pounds all the time so you know they're not over inflating the ride is amazing in it because you know I go across the field a lot better because I got obviously lower pressure a lot less bounce and then another thing is the back of the tractor is more planted to the ground a lot more traction in the field it handles so much better and go a lot more places and then you know for empty we get what we call a, a tire bounce out of these tires because they you know obviously if they didn't have this air inflation system they're still set at 58 pounds or 60 pounds or whatever they're at and they they get a lot of bounce on them when they're when it's empty well i go back to the pit at 35 pounds and i don't get that it's just it's, it's smooth Obviously, I'm deflating these tires, so it's gonna have a bigger footprint. And we have another 9500, just like this one, same tires, same tractor and everything. And we've done a side-by-side -side in the field, and it's, it's a night and day difference how much that one sinks it in the ground and how much this one floats better. And he was sinking it in the ground, you know, about that on bean stubble. And I was, you know, two inches less than he was sinking in, so. You know, I was pulling so much faster across the field because the tank was floating better. I was getting better traction in the hills because I had less air in my back tires and the tractor. And he was always complaining that his back sore and stuff like that. And I haven't really had that because, well, it rides so much better. I don't, you know, get around the field better. And it's, it's just way better. It's pretty easy. I got two set pressures here. I got my road, I got my road pressure and I got my field pressure. And the only thing I do is either air it up or air it down. And if I want to split them where I just want the tank, I can get rid of the tractor or vice versa. I could just have the tractor, whatever you want to do. And then if you want to change your set pressure, all you gotta do is just type it in. Same thing there and unlock it. And then that's all you got to do. Pretty easy system to run. Deflate, it's around a minute and then inflate. Depending if I got a load on or not, I try to start inflating before I get back to the pit, but it's normally about four, four and a half minutes, somewhere in there. And that's for the tractor in the tank too. We're gonna go back around to the air compressor and I'm gonna show you where it's at located on the tank. And like I was saying before, everything is off the power beyond, so it's, it's always constant fluid running through it you don't have to click an SUV you don't have to do anything like that it's on the power beyond and you know right here is where it goes and it's got a compressor underneath here and it's got an air tank and then it's got all its different valves underneath so if one tire needs more pressure than the other it's gonna do it itself so you don't have to worry about anything like that it's not quiet but it's not loud by any means it's not too bad you did not hear it in the cab the only time I hear it is when I'm out here doing stuff this is the only time I hear it I've had one small problem with them. It's these brackets. We've broke a few of them off and I've had to re-weld them. It's just because I think it's a clearance problem. I'm, they're scraping mud and they're getting too much stuff packed in here. They like to build up of mud. I mean, I've had mud build up all the way to here. It broke right back in here. And then we've had another one that broke back here, right here. And it just, you know, this, it was kind of a poor weld. You know, the material's maybe a little too thin in here. I think they're working on it. They're redesign it. That's kind of what I've heard, so hopefully they come out with something a little bit different or a little bit heavier. We'll just have to see. These external, I haven't seen any problems with them yet. No air leaks, nothing like that yet. Maybe like to see them hide these lines because I just, I don't want a corn stock to come up and hit this and tear it off. 
And other than that, it's a really good system. I mean, I, I, I love it. It's a night and day difference compared to our other tanks. You know, it's, it's really nice. I think it would work good for more custom guys, maybe even a farmer himself that does everything by himself. If he's a no-till guy and not in the heavy tillage and stuff like that, I think it'd be really useful for him.